Okay, so if you don't know, there's some, a really big thing that happened this weekend. I'm looking for my A cam to my B cam. A cam using the Sony A7S III. B cam I am shooting with these, the uh, Nikon Z8. Because today we're talking about Nikon and RED. They partnered together. If you didn't know, Nikon actually purchased RED earlier this year. And they just released something a couple days ago. So they just released some free LUTs some free LUTs <laughs> that allowed you to have access to Red's color science. Now, one big thing is when you do a side-by-side -side for like a Nikon Z8 to a Red, the colors are gonna look very similar to each other. There'll be slight differences because the Red cameras do have a larger dynamic range. So, you know, the color shifts will be very, very, very small, but like a trained professional will be able to see it with the average person who doesn't, you know, stare at videos and movies and edit things as intensely as we do, they probably won't be able to notice what's going on. So that's what you need to remember about. So there's four LUTs in total. And by the way, they release these LUTs and they're free. There's no pay to entry. None of that is going on. Um, real quick. So the first one is a film bleach uh, bypass. It's a really grungy look. It's really not my style. I'm not, I'm not really rocking with it, but maybe that's something that you absolutely love. And if you want more footage and better clear, clear images of this type of stuff, um, of examples of these LUTs, excuse me, you can go and find this on YouTube. It just dropped a couple days ago, but uh, that's the first one. The second one is a chromic, I believe that's how you say it, or it's a nice, really, really clean black and white that helps preserve your, uh, your details and your uh, your whites, so your, your whites and your shadows and the details of your subject as well. I love it. I would definitely be using that for sure. Um, another one I'll be using, uh, I'll use three out of four of these for sure. I'll be using the Film Bypass Offset. It's much closer to my type of style. It's really vibrant. The colors look really great and it's beautiful. Um, and another thing before I say this, it is the red color science, but remember, these LUTs are just Rec. 709 conversions. You can still go in and you can you can adjust however you feel. So if something, it looks close to what you want, it's not like you have to set the LUT on there or place the LUT on there or put this in the CST or whatever you want to do or put it on the uh, adjustment layer depending on whatever program you're working with. You don't have to stick with that, okay? You can always go back and customize it to the best of your ability so you can get the look that you want. And then the last one they have is the Film Bypass. And this is like a solid just Rec. 709 pure conversion. It looks pretty, it looks pretty good. It's a solid way to go. But I think we have to talk about the fact that Nikon truly cares about their creators and how they are treating the filmmaking community with this type of thing because having access to that really clean, crisp red look, it's, it's different in the fact that it's free, right? Um, I think it should be studied how Nikon's been moving this past you know, year or two because it's awesome. They're working with more creators. They're sending more people on creator trips. Uh, just a fair warning, I did get to work with Nikon in the past on a creator trip and on a project together, and they were absolutely fantastic, but that does not have anything to do with this. I had no idea they are gonna buy red. I had no idea they are gonna release these LUTs. This is, this is just me reacting to what's going on, right? Um, but, you know, as a filmmaker, like that's, that's dope. Being able to say, hey, if you can't afford a red, maybe you pick up like a Nikon Z8 and pick it up and grab some lenses for it and you can still get, you know, really, really close to that look that you're going for, right? That is dope. That is beautiful. And as someone who's been shooting with Sony, all my video work is with Sony. Nikon's officially stolen all of my photo work. I'm not gonna lie to you. So if anybody from Nikon seen this, you guys got me. Yeah, you, you got me. Because the photos, you got me. And now with this release, you, you might have had, you might get me for uh, <laughs> for video too, because that's 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 different, right? Um, but yeah, they really do care about their creators, and I can see that they're they're starting to you know gain some a lot of traction in the market share, right? So I believe it's Canon, Sony, and then Nikon, if I'm correct. And um, oh, my computer fell asleep because my cat's right behind me. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's no script for this, by the way. I'm just being purely honest and genuine with this. I think you have to put some more respect on Nikon's name. Their photos have been historically good for a long time, and they're starting to tackle the video, you know, the video and filmmaking uh, department as well because they, they're Red is a part of Nikon's team now, so they're already in Hollywood. They're everywhere. So Red, like Reds are Reds, but Red is a part of Nikon now. You, you, know, you know what I mean? Um, but on that part, like I'm really excited to see as they perfect even more things and as Red collaborates even deeper with Nikon, like. What, what's the next when either gonna be is there gonna be like a firmer update where like you know MROG gets even better with the colors or is there gonna be a uh, when a new like one of the newest cameras come out right is Nikon gonna have the first like cinema camera that's that's independent from red that takes some of uh, red's strongest qualities and some of Nikon's strongest qualities put it together I don't know but if not if they're not thinking about that okay let's be honest they're probably they're probably thinking about that they're probably thinking about that and if they are I'm very happy about it and I'm I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, man, I feel like this is I feel like this is kind of a game changer a little bit. So 
Uh, do you have a favorite? If you don't own a Nikon, I would definitely say go rent one out. Rent out a Z8 with, uh, with the lens, you know, and just go out, go over to NRAW, right? Because you get, in, it's RAW 12-bit. If you've never worked with RAW footage before, um, this means if you overexpose your image, it, the clip isn't the clip isn't sacrificed. The clip isn't gone, right? You can just go take it, put it into your editor, and just bring. You can go back and go to raw settings, and you can change all your settings. So if your white balance is off, you can change it like you're changing it in your camera, in post. It's a beautiful process. So uh, having access to that, and if you guys don't know, using a Nikon Z8, I'm able to record in raw raw footage without the use of an external monitor whatsoever. This is all internally in the camera. So. Um, oh, somebody texted me. I have no idea who that is. But look, do yourself a favor. Have a great time with this. Definitely try it out if you own an icon. Um, a lot of DSLRs are, are supported. Make sure you check the website, make sure yours is. I'll go ahead and list like several down below. And um, on top of that, if you wanna see what I've used to make this video possible, I'll also list that as well. It'll be listed via my Amazon um, my Amazon links. If you use any of those, I do receive a very small percentage from them, no, no additional cost to you. It just helps me keep the lights on, helps me make better content. But uh, yeah, so definitely go check this out. And um, if I didn't mention this before, I might be repeating myself. If you're not aware, if you put a, a Nikon next to a red using this, the colors will look slightly different because red cameras, their dynamic range is wider. So it won't be like direct one-to-one, -one, but be extremely, extremely close, right? So go try it out, go, especially if you own a Nikon. It's, it's, lit to be, it's lit to be part of the same Nikon right now. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you for now. So hey, feel down in the comment section below. And until next time, peace.